let us look at uh, how to factorize a perfect square trinomial. It's all in some books, they also call it perfect square expression. Okay, now suppose you have uh, an expression like this. Suppose you want to factorize. So the question is to factorize. Factorize means to put uh, a given algebraic expression in brackets. Suppose the question is, say, x squared minus, uh, so let me put plus 2x plus 1. So yeah, yeah, you're asking the question, which are the two factors of 1, which gives you 2. Now, what it, what weighs 1 and 2? So this is 1 and this is 2. So the first thing that you look at is x. You've got an x, x here. So I put an x and x here. Now you have to think of two factors of 1, which gives you 2. So 1 has got only one factor, which is 1. Okay, so 1 can be written as 1 times 1. So 1 can be written as 1 times 1. And 1 plus 1 is also 2. So this is what I mean. The two factors of 1, which gives you 2. That means if you add them, you, it gives you 2. So I have to write here plus 1, plus 1. That's it. And if you expand this, this is how you can check your answer. So this is, this is your x squared. This is your x squared. And this is your 1. Okay. And to get the middle terms, or 2x, how do you get this 2x? This is this is plus 1x, this is plus 1x, and this is plus 1x. I hope you can see. So this x times x is x squared, 1 times 1 is 1. You've got these two groups. So this is, let me write here, 1 times x is x, and x times 1 is also x. So an x plus x gives you this 2x. Hopefully I've not confused you. Okay, let me take the next number. Suppose you have got, say, x squared plus uh, 6x plus 9. So here I'll put this in bracket, x, and you start with x and x here. So here, which are the two factors of 9, which gives you 6? So, well, 9... The two factors of 9 are 3 times 3 is 9, and 3 plus 3 is also, sorry, 3 plus 3 is 6. So can you see the 9 here? So you have to find two numbers which multiplies to give you 9, and which adds to give you 6. So it has to be plus 3, plus 3. And of course, yeah, if you want to do one more step, this is nothing but x plus 1, the whole square and that's why it's called a perfect square expression and this would be x plus 3 the whole square okay so let me take one more example suppose if we have say x squared uh, plus 14x plus 49 I hope you can see the pattern here the two factors are 49 which gives you 14 so 49 is of course a perfect number perfect number which is 7 times 7 and 7 plus 7 is 14 so the two factors of 49 which gives you 14 are 7 and 7 so you start with x and x plus 7 plus 7 so this is x plus 7 the whole squared okay so let me do a few more examples we're not going to write the answer now directly so if you have, say, x squared plus uh, 10x plus 25. So I hope you can see 25 is a perfect square. 25 is 5 times 5. And the two factors which gives you 10 are 5 and 5. Okay, so this is x plus 5, the whole squared, directly, just like that. Okay, if it is, say, x squared plus, uh, say, 4x plus 4. Okay, well, this is a, the two factors of 4 are 2 and 2, and that gives you 4 are again 2 and 2. So this is x plus 2, the whole squared. So let me write one more example, say x squared. So if I write here, suppose 100, what should I write here? Tell me. The two factors of 100, 
uh, 10 and 10, plus 10 and plus 10, so I, I should write it 20x. So the factor, the factorization is x plus 10, the whole squared. Okay, one more example. So x squared plus 81. So tell me the number that should I, I, I should write here. So, well, 81 is 9 times 9, so 9 plus 9 is 18. So the answer is x plus 9, the whole squared. Okay, I want you to look at a pattern. Now, there's a relation between 10 and 25. Just look at these numbers and tell me whether you can establish a rule between this number and this number. So you've got 10 and 25, 4 and 4, 20 and 100, and 18 and 81. So, well, if you look at the numbers, well, 25 is 5 squared, 4 is 2 squared, 100 is 10 squared, 81 is 9 squared. So here, this number is square of half of this number. So what, I, what do I mean by that? So let me show it here. So you do the half of 10, so 10 divided by 2 is 5. And then you square that number, so 5 squared is 25. So the relation is, you have to half the number with x, or the coefficient of x, and then square it. So let us do one more. So this is half of, half of 4 is 2, and then square it. So if you square 2, 2, 2 squared is 4. I hope you can see the pattern here. Half of 20 is 10, and 10 squared is 100. Okay, so... If, what happens if you got minus there? Okay, suppose if it is x squared plus, uh, let me put a minus here, minus, say, uh, say, minus 10x plus 100. Does it work here? Okay, so here yeah, let us see whether it's a perfect square. This is how you decide whether it's a perfect square trinomial or not. So half of negative 10, what is half of negative 10? which is negative 5, and then if you square, oh, this should be 25, sorry, so this should be 25, this number should be 25. And then if you square negative 5, so negative 5 squared is 25. Or if you think in a different way, the two factors of negative 5, sorry, negative 25, sorry, the two factors of plus 25, the two factors of 25, which gives you negative 10, okay? The two numbers should multiply to give you 25. So negative 5 times negative 5. If you multiply it, so here, yeah, if you multiply it, so minus 5 or negative 5 times negative 5 gives you plus 25. Negative times negative becomes positive. So negative 5 times negative 5 is plus 25. And negative 5 plus negative 5. So let me show this on a calculator for those who are struggling to understand this. So let me get my calculator. Where's my calculator? So menu, menu, run. So negative 5 times negative 5 gives you plus 25. And negative 5 plus negative 5, oops, it's negative 5 plus negative 5 is negative 10. So if you want to factorize this, this will be x minus 5 the whole squared. Okay, so let me take one more example. Suppose it is x squared, say plus, let me write uh, 36. And uh, this should be minus 12x. Okay, why, why did I write minus 12x? Half of negative 6, negative 12 half of negative 12 is negative 6 and then if you square negative 6 you get plus 36 and it does make sense the two factors are x minus 6 x minus 6 or x minus 6 the whole squared because the two factors so 36 you can the two factors are of plus sorry are the two factors of plus 36 which gives you minus 12 are minus 6 and minus 6. So if you multiply them, you get plus 36. 
and if you add them you get negative 12. 